Howdy folks and welcome back to Newbie Barbecue where I'm bringing you along as I learn how to barbecue myself so maybe you don't make the same mistakes I make. So Brinkley, what are we doing today? That's right folks, we are going old school meatloaf just like mama used to make. Well, not exactly like mama used to make. We're smoking our meatloaf and she never busted out a smoker and hers had a lot more ketchup. Ours won't, but hopefully it'll be just as good when we're all done. So I've already got all of my ingredients in place. My mise en place, thanks to my beautiful wife. Mise en place, little French. If you don't parlez vous chef, look it up. Mise en place. You'll learn something new. All right, folks, so, so we're working with ground pork and ground beef. And we're going to mix those together along with our ingredients. This is the fun part. So, like I said, we've got our ground pork and ground beef all put into this bowl here. Then we are going to take all of this and just dump it in. Starting with about six eggs, lightly beaten, we are going to dump a medium onion, finely minced. Thank you for chopping that up, baby. You're welcome. Now, I don't like bell peppers, so instead of bell pepper, I've got a, uh, a red pepper, and I've also got a jalapeno. So we're gonna have a little extra kick to this meatloaf today. Hopefully it'll be delicious, I'm sure it will be. And we're also gonna add Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcester, you know how Easy to for say you it. To say. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce goes into the mix as well. Now, Mix it all together. Now I'm taping this on Father's Day in 2020, so for all you dads out there, if you plan to ever do this, this is a good time to get your kids in and have them mix in because it's squishy. Yeah! <laughs> you gotta have a binder. Meatloaf won't stick together unless you have a binder, and today we're using Ritz crackers because Ritz makes everything better. You dump those in as well. This is your bread, but really you can use you know, plain white bread, you can use really anything, anything like that that will help it stick together. We just like the buttery goodness of Ritz. The Ritz makes all the difference. It really just helps to stick it together. Now, it's really just my wife and I, so this is a lot of meatloaf, way too much for just the two of us. So I'm gonna split it in two and make two different loaves, and we're gonna try two different preparations. One, we're gonna go more of a traditional flavor, the other we're going to go with a, a more barbecue flavor and in the end we're going to see which we like better. So now that I've got my meat mixed up, let's split it in half so we can get to work. So for the more traditional loaf, we're going to add some cheese into this. I don't know if that's traditional or not, but it doesn't, it's certainly not barbecue-y to have cheddar cheese in your meatloaf. But we're going to have cheddar cheese and grated parmesan and then Salt and pepper. Now, salt and pepper is traditional for anything. It makes anything more traditional. And then we're just gonna mix all that together. So this is gonna be what this half of the final loaf looks like. It helps when you have a dog to pick up whatever falls over. And he will get whatever falls over. Just not the peppers. Not the peppers. Make sure he's not picking up any of these jalapeno peppers because that would not be good on the little puppy's tummy. And on this, we're going to do more of a traditional barbecue rub. So it's got salt, pepper, brown sugar, cayenne pepper, uh, just to give it a little flavor of that barbecue and mix it all together. So there's our two loaves. Now we're about to roll them out. And then I'm going to put them in the fridge to rest while I get the smoker up to temp. What we're doing now is we are just forming our loaves and I'm taking saran wrap and rolling it. And this will do two things. One, it will give it a better shape. And two, it'll allow us to put it in the refrigerator while I get the smoker up to temperature. So let me get this done. We'll get it up to temperature and I'll see you outside. All right, we got our smoker going. We're using cherry and apple wood today. I didn't want to use a really heavy wood like hickory or anything like that. I wanted something lighter, fruitier. So we've got our two loaves. They are now wrapped in bacon. 
I put more seasoning on top of the barbecue one. And we're gonna let this go for about two hours at 275. The barbecue one, we're gonna be basting every half hour with barbecue sauce to get that glazed on there. And then we're gonna see how it all turns out. So stay tuned. All right, we've been going about a half hour. I told you I was gonna put some barbecue sauce on the barbecue meatloaf. And that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. I'm gonna do this every half hour until these are done, just to get a little extra flavor imparted on there and to get some caramelized sugar on there. So to hopefully get a nice little crust and be delicious in the end. Not sure which one I'm gonna, which one of these I'm gonna like better, but we'll find out in the end. So this is almost done. It's at 160, and I'm taking it to an internal temperature of 170. So we are very close to pulling this off the grill and having dinner. All right, this is done, folks. Time to take it inside. I'm gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes or so, and then slice in and see how how it did. All right, here they are. Our two meatloafs are done. This is the barbecue one. This is the more traditional, but we added cheese in the middle. Um, so now let's see see what they look like. Oh, that's pretty good. My wife likes the bacon. Let's check out this other one, see what it looks like. You can see those peppers in there. That's gonna be nice and spicy. All right, I'm gonna take a little taste off each just to see which one I think I prefer the best. This is the barbecue one. Had the barbecue rub and the barbecue sauce on it. That's not bad. It's got a little sweetness to it from the barbecue sauce that I kind of like. Now let's see if we can't nip a little taste off the more traditional one. Let's see what it's like. What do you think? That is definitely much more savory hmm. as opposed to sweet. This has a little sweeter flavor. I really like them both. I don't know which one I like. Maybe you can try them at home and see which one you like best. That's it. We'll catch you next time we fire up the smoker and figure out something else to cook. Have a great day.